Timothy Bleefnik is a 39-year-old Illinois man who appeared with his family on the popular game show, Family Feud. He has been charged with murder in the home invasion death of his wife, Rebecca. Her bullet-riddled body was found after she failed to pick up their kids from school. Tim and Rebecca wed in 2009, and from this union three sons were born. Originally from Quincy, Illinois, Becky received her first of many academic and professional honors in her lifetime as Quincy Notre Dame High School valedictorian. She graduated cum laude from Quincy University with a bachelor's degree in biological science with a minor in chemistry. This background allowed her to work for Sanofi Aventis, where she became one of their top performing pharmaceutical sales representatives. Becky always pictured herself in the medical field, so it was no surprise when she decided to pursue nursing as her chosen career. She became a certified trauma nurse, sexual assault nurse examiner, and, during the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic, she worked as a traveling nurse. Becky Bleefnik became a DAISY honoree at Blessing Hospital, the award is meant to honor exceptional care. A patient nominated her, stating, I got to kiss my husband and tell him how much I loved him all thanks to Becky. She added, there are no words to express how grateful I am to her for what she did for me and my husband. She truly is an amazing nurse. On the other hand, Tim Bleefnik, originally from Decatur, is a graduate of Quincy University, an inductee to their Sports Hall of Fame for football in 2019. Tim, along with family members Ted, Tommy, Amy, and Ray, had a brief appearance on the television show, Family Feud, in January of 2020. Tim made a cringe-worthy joke on camera, which led to a rather awkward interaction between him and the show's host, Steve Harvey. What's the biggest mistake you made at your wedding? Honey, I love you, but said I do. Oh. <laughs> Not my mistake. I love my wife. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for that, aren't I? Yeah. <laughs> Bleefnik had been working at Quincy Farm Products for an undisclosed number of years. Philip Hildebrand Jr., the company's vice president of finance and administration, told reporters that Tim Bleefnik is no longer an employee. Rebecca Bleefnik, 41, was found dead on February 23 at her home in Quincy. The gruesome discovery was made by a family member after she failed to pick up her children from school. At the time of her death, the Bleefniks were separated and going through a divorce. Several court documents involving a protective restraining order were taken down from the Illinois Records website. Additionally, a second restraining order had also been filed against her former father-in-law. Police arrested Tim 12 days after police executed a search warrant and searched his home. He has been charged with two counts of first-degree murder and home invasion. Bleefnik is currently in the Adams County Jail. He was denied bond at a hearing on March 14. His lawyer, Casey Schnack, told reporters that she was preparing a series of court filings to protect his interests and preserve his constitutional rights. Tim remained the only suspect, despite never having been detained before, nor officially faced charges of domestic abuse. Tim has pled not guilty to all charges. A trial in May 2023 will soon decide his fate. As the case is still being investigated, many of the details of what happened during this terrible ordeal remain secret. A crowdfunding campaign for a scholarship named after Rebecca was launched. Despite the circumstances of her death, she is remembered for the life she cherished, a life of compassion, generosity, faith, and fierce love for her family, her sister Sarah Riley wrote. She leaves behind three young children and an entire community who loved her more than anything. We wish closure and extend our deepest condolences to Becky's family, friends, and all that knew and loved her. Let us remember the tragic story of Becky Bleefnik and her family as a call to action to do our part in preventing domestic violence. If you, or someone you know, needs help, please, reach out to a local domestic violence hotline or support group. That's all for now, thank you for watching.